There we go. That's a fish on. <laughs> you just stay right there, Gator. What's going on guys? It is a beautiful day here in Minnesota, uh, Rogers, Minnesota to be precise. And if you live and fish in Minnesota, then well, you know this place and like me, you've probably spent way too much money in this place. But even though it's a beautiful day here in Minnesota, I'm not sticking around. I'm heading down to South Florida to go nail some invasive fish in the drainage ditches in South Florida. But first I'm going in and I'm gonna buy as many cool crappie jigs as I can find in here. And I'm gonna show you guys what I bought when I get down to South Florida, which is just filthy with invasives. There's Oscars, there's Mayan cichlids, there's peacock bass, there's jaguar cichlids. All of these fish are now invasive to here in Southern Florida, and they are a lot of fun to catch. And the best way to do that is with the crappie jigs that I brought down from Minnesota. So I got a pack of these Bass Pro Shop squirming grubs in both green and yellow. I also brought stroller jigs. These are white with chartreuse tails that are also twister tails. Those give off a lot of action in the water. I'm really optimistic about these. I also got Bass Pro Shops, Crappie Max, Squirmin Squirts. These are the red and white ones. These have like a squid tail. They don't give off a lot of action, so we're gonna see how those work. I also got the Crappie Max in orange and yellow just to mix up that color. I also picked up a pack of just white twister tail power baits. This I'm gonna try out, this I'm really optimistic about. And so I bet you're thinking, Dave, we can get those jigs at any Bass Pro Shops anywhere in Florida, and yes, you're right, you can. But, you know, these Oscars and these other cichlids, man, they fight so hard that when I'm down here fishing, I have had them fight so hard that they literally bend those hooks straight. So I brought down the strongest jigs that I could find. These are Minnesota made from Northland Fishing Tackle. They're not a sponsor yet. But these are the strongest jig heads that I know on the market, and that's gonna have to be a really big fish to bend these hooks straight. So I got these in the variety color pack. We're gonna start off with an orange jig head because that gives off a lot of color, and uh, orange is kind of an attractant down here. I don't know if it's any more of an attractant than pink, white, black, yellow, I don't know. But we're gonna do the orange one first and we're gonna test that out. So anyway, where I am right now is not in the Everglades. This is actually somewhere in Big Cypress and this is a road that I've been coming down to for years. And I love this road because there's several access points to the drainage ditches on either side of it. This vegetation is so thick down here that the only place that you have access to this water is over over these little bridges that they built this road over those drainage ditches. And it's there that we're gonna target some of these invasive species down here. All right, so here's the little pools here just along the side of the road. We're gonna start off with an orange jig head and a uh, white bodied with a chartreuse tail. There we go. Fish on. First fish of the day. Hey, look at that. It's a native. Well, we're kind of after invasives here, and I get a uh, native, but not bad for the first fish of the day. All right. Back you go, buddy. There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a jaguar cichlid. Look at that thing. This is my first jaguar cichlid. Holy crap, look at how beautiful that thing is. Look at those colors on them and these spots here are what give them the name jaguar cichlid. Oh man, this is awesome. I gotta take a Instagram of this bad boy. These guys have really sharp teeth, so I have my thumb kind of bent over those teeth. They have fangs on the top, fangs on the bottom. Oh, but man, this is my first jaguar cichlid I've ever caught. This is awesome. All right, took some Instagrams of him and off you go. That absolutely ruled. All right, so score one for the orange jig head, white bodied chartreuse tail, little crappie jig here. First jaguar cichlid, that ruled. All right, if he's in there, 
There's a couple of Oscars and Mayans with my name on it out there. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Another native sunfish. Now this one looks like a green sunfish almost. Oh, ba, 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 dunk, dunk, dunk. Doing the floppy crappie again. Here, let me get you off of there. There we go. Cute little sunfish. And the release. I am really loving this pool. And again, all those shadowy places out there are where the fish are hiding. It's nice and deep right here. Fish can't see me. This could be a very productive pool in here. Already has, actually. If I catch nothing other than that jaguar, I'm going to be a happy camper. And yeah, there's something. There we go. Oh, man. Look at this, they're just stripping off the tail. So I'm gonna switch up my plastic lure presentation here because that's the second one of these I just lost to these little guys. So we're gonna try these uh, Crappie Max Bass Pro Shops, the Squirm Squirts. I'm gonna use the orange and yellow ones here just because it's such a bright day. I want those really bright colors out there. So let's see how this guy does. Oh, <laughs> and uh, the resident alligator has just come in probably hearing all the activity over here. Do not steal any fish that I catch, buddy. And this guy, I'm just kind of bouncing off the bottom and doing a little bit of different presentation. Not getting really any interest like I did off those white and chartreuse jigs. Look at this alligator just sitting right here, just waiting for me to reel something in. I might not be spending too much more time at this pool. Any fish that I catch that struggles and that gator is coming over and making lunch out of it. And I don't want that gator to swallow a hook. And I'm sure the presence of this gator sitting right here is what's spooking all the fish. So let's not be so quick to blame the squirm squirt. Let's be quick to blame the big squirt. I think my friend right there has completely ruined this pool. But yeah, I think that we have outfished this pool and so we're gonna move on down to the next one. All right, brand new little pool here. I'm still gonna give this little squirm squirt another day in court here. I just think that the alligator at the last pool spooked everybody, but we'll give this pool a whirl in here and see if the squirm squirt earns its keep. Mine cichlids are interested in it. Oh, there we go, there we go. Squirm squirt got one. Oh, look at what it got too. Oh man. That is a Mayan cichlid. Man, these are beautiful. Look at the red underneath its gills here. Man, these are amazingly beautiful fish. And you know, in other videos, we talked about that spot on these cichlids. Peacock bass have them, Oscars have them, but Mayan cichlids have them. But Mayan cichlids, look at that. They're surrounded in blue. And that's how you can tell that this is a Mayan cichlid. Man, that is a good looking fish. All right, so the orange and yellow squirm squirt wasn't really very productive out here. So I'm gonna switch to this squirm squirt, but I'm gonna use the red with the white tail. Give these guys a day in court, see how these guys do against those cichlids over there. But I just fished for about a half hour with the orange and yellow and all it produced was one Mayan cichlid. But we're gonna see how the white and the red one works here. I see a bunch of bass, a bunch of cichlids. I'm not going to get too close to the water. They're just hanging out. Let's see what we got here. Hit. I'm going right by that bass. And that bass completely ignores it. Look at that. There's a lot of interest in this one. But they're not in full attack mode like they were with that white bodied with that chartreuse tail. Yeah, I just went right through a school of cichlids. They completely ignored it. There's a big largemouth bass out there. It ignored it. Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. Well, at least these are good for native fish. Here's another little sunfish. Nice little dude. All right, so I come down here to Florida to use these Minnesota crappie jigs on invasive fish down here in South Florida. And I'm basically catching exactly what I would back in Minnesota with them. Nice little sunfish though. All right, off you go. 
All right, so on this side of the road over here, look at this. You got access to all of this over here. There's fish hitting the surface over here. I can already see a bunch of cichlids, some bass in here. So I'm gonna try something a little bit bigger here. I'm gonna do the green and yellow squirm grubs. It's a little bit bigger lure. Hopefully we're gonna catch a couple of bigger fish in here and not just these little cichlids and sunnies that uh, can be found in this pond here. All right, so I'm still keeping with that bright orange jig head. It's been good to us so far, but again, this is a little bit bigger presentation, a little bit different colors. Could be good for any of the bigger fish that might be hanging out in here. Let's give this a try. It's pretty deep in there, so I'm gonna let it sink. Oh yeah, lots of interest in that. Look at that. There's a whole school of cichlids following this guy up and a big bass in there too there we go there we go all right so i put on a little bit bigger presentation to try to catch a little bit bigger fish and we get another native sunny all right well you know that's exactly what these lures are designed for cute little guys see ya Man, this is working out quite well. Look at this guy. That's a nice little sunny. Come here, buddy. Let me get you untangled there. Man, they are just inhaling these. Nice little sunny and uh, yeah, there you go. Now you're released. Bye-bye. All right, I really like the look of this one. It's nice and deep in there. There's not a lot of branches to get caught up on. I am feeling optimistic about this access right in here. Let's see what we got. A lot of nice bass in there. Oh, and here comes another one of our friends to spook all the fish out of here. Gators, I absolutely love you. Yeah, look at that. Nobody's following it up this time. I'll tell you, the gators roll in and the fish just scatter. So yeah, that's a uh, gator. I love you, but dude, you're being a turd in the punch bowl right here. All right, so I'm gonna try this pool right here, but we already got a special friend hanging out over there. And every time I'm at this place, there's always two gators that hang out here. So I've seen this gator many times before. And uh, there's another gator in here that'll probably make an appearance here, but Gator, if you just kind of hang out on that side, I will concentrate on this side. You are going right in front of where I want to cast. I mean, for real, dude. <laughs> Look at this. I'm standing right here, and he just comes right up in front of me where I'm going to cast. I mean, you're beautiful, you're awesome, love you, but dude, come on. This is the totally wrong channel for you to get this close to me. All right, fine. If you're going to stay there, I'm going to go over on this side. <laughs> this gator loves me and I love him, but as far as fishing this pond, it's not going to go well as long as my little friend here continues to show me love. So, all right, you know what, buddy? This is the totally wrong channel for you to be here. I'm gonna go grab my other camera and we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna put you on Reptile Adventures. This gator loves me. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> that's it for this pond. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass this pool up for the next one. All right, this is a great looking pool. I see some pleco, some placostomus down there. They're also invasive. Nice little stretch. Tons of Mayan cichlids in there. Let's see what we get. Everyone's following it. 
<laughs> Those are just little guys though. I saw a couple of Oscars in here. Let's see if I can nail them. Gator, you're in my way. There we go. That's a fish on. That's a fish on. Oh, and it's an Oscar. Oh man, I love the way these guys fight. <laughs> you just stay right there, Gator. Oh, beauty. Look at that guy. That is probably the biggest Oscar I have yet caught. And these guys, they have such smooth scales and they're so slimy that they're so hard to hang on to. Case in point. And that gator is like, oh, I see lunch. Oh, man, these guys are really super difficult to hang on to. Oh, you just stay down there, gator. Oh, and here comes the other gator. Look at this. I can't even get this fish off the hook. And these gators are just lining up. All right, come over here. Let's get you off the hook. There we go. <laughs> nice, another sunny. Um, now, uh, guys, you don't get this one either. It's a good thing these gators are lined up here because all the fish over there where I'm casting aren't being spooked by them. Oh, there's one. Looks like another sunny. Let's get it away from Mr. Gator. <laughs> Look at these guys. These guys are just sitting right here waiting for me. They're not doing this. They're not lining up here because they think I'm going to give them fish. Other fishermen are actually feeding these guys, and that's not a good thing. All right, so we've got a couple of fish out of this pond. These gators just sitting right here are um, going to make it very difficult for me to actually reel a fish past them. They're literally lined up right here and right here. I'm going to give this pond one more cast. And then we're out of here. We already pulled a really nice Oscar out of here and a bunch of little sunnies. There's a nice Mayan cichlid there and nope. All right, we're gonna go try another pond down the road here, but uh, guys, you, uh, you, you both take care of yourselves. Uh, this is a nice looking pond. There's tons of cichlids down there, but look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of baby alligators right there. Look at that guy right there. Oh, there's another baby gator over there. There's like four or five baby gators right here. But there's also a ton of really good sized cichlids down here. So I'm gonna do a couple of casts in here. I like that tree cover over there. Yeah, there's like, oh, there we go, there we go. What do we got here? I'm going after the school of Mayan cichlids down here. I pull in another green sunfish. There you go, buddy, back to Florida. So we're getting later on in the day, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I took that orange jig head off and replaced it with hot pink, and we're going to try one of those Berkeley white power baits with the twister tail. I see a ton of cichlids in here. Let's give this a whirl. There we go. Oh yeah! Nice! Another Oscar. So that hot pink and white really worked well on this Oscar. Oh man, these guys are so hard to hang on to. Oi, oi. These guys have spikes on their top, spikes on the bottom, and they are just really super hard to hang on to. And every time you try to get a grip on them, you get spiked in your hand. Ah! Well, there was the Oscar. <laughs> oh man. Those fish are so hard to hang on to, but First cast here produces an Oscar on the white and hot pink jig head, which is a good sign. So I'm going to get it back out there, see if we can get an Oscar. We haven't been able to take a really good look at an Oscar in this video yet, because they're just, man, they are just like the greased up deaf guy from Family Guy. You just cannot hang on to them. There's the money hole right there. Oh, got him. Got him. Another Oscar. Oh man, these guys fight. These guys are like smallmouth, how they fight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it is an Oscar. I thought it was a Mayan cichlid at first. But let's take a good look at this thing before I actually touch him. Look at that, that one has some nice tiger striping. 
Look at that, that nice red spot. That is a nice Oscar, look at that. Oh, fantastic. So I think we got three Oscars. Man, this white and hot pink, there we go, I'm hanging out of that one. This white and hot pink little Berkeley Mr. Twister jig is really doing it for these Oscars. That is great. Hey, he's not doing the floppy crappie like, well, there it is. There's the release. I spoke too soon. All right, guys, so I made it to the end of that road. There are so many of those little pools up and down this particular road here in South Florida. But, you know, one of the things that I really wanted to do was get the trifecta of cichlids, the Jaguar, the Oscar, and the Mayan cichlid. We got all three on these crappie lures. So just to review, where's the other one? There it is. So these two, the squirm and squids, in either color really didn't do the trick down here. These are perfect for crappies and sunnies elsewhere. Down here against all of these invasives, these did not do very well. But what did do very well is this one. These white bodied with chartreuse tails, they have a lot of action to them. These things were number one. And then we move on to the other two that I brought down here, the Screamin' Grub in green and yellow tails. These guys worked well. And then the all-white Berkeley Power Bait. So everything that I brought down with twister tails really nailed them. There's a lot of action to them, and that action really entices the strike. So again, these three worked well. These two squirmin' squids. Well, I'm taking these back to Minnesota and we'll catch some crappies with them. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is lots more fishing adventures coming up, so hit that subscribe button. When you do, hit that bell so you never miss an upload. And guys, thanks for watching. And until the next fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on.